What up, YouTube family, man? Welcome to Symbolic Mind Generation. Today's topic is, I'm going to tell you about the first time I tried marijuana and cocaine. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to share this video. Before we get on the subject, right? I got to ask y'all something, fellas. You know when you when you when you gotta take a piss, right? I say four out of ten times, forty percent of the time, bro, you're gonna have to it's a fart to come along with that motherfucker, right? So you in the club, right? And they got the piss stalls in there. You feel your your stomach bubbling and the shit like that, right? But you gotta take this piss. But that fart got to come out while you pissing. You ever try to reroute that motherfucker while you pissing at the same time? Because it's like, dude, are you, is you just going to let loose in front of everybody in the spot, in the bathroom? Say you in the club, y'all in the bathroom. Dudes, you know, in the stall pissing, right? Do you just fart and just let it come out? Or do you try to reroute it and push that thing back up in your stomach? <laughs> I just want to know. I just want to know. You know what I'm saying? What do you do? You know what I'm saying? Because you know a lot of times, bro, when you piss, man, it's a fart to come with it. You know what I'm saying? So what do you do in that situation? Leave a comment in the comment section. Anyway, uh, let me tell you about the first time I tried marijuana and cocaine. So uh, it was my birthday in 2000. I was out of the residency in Independence, Ohio. Out there by the uh, in Independence, man, they had this, uh, I forget the name of the police district, but they had about 20 feet of, of, of territory on the highway. They was real small. So they used to make their money off of just get a ticket and do. That was just their speed track. Everybody knew they was there. And uh, I forget the name of them, but uh, I'm, in the, I'm out there hustling out the, out, the, out the hotel and shit, at the residence in. It's my birthday. Mike Pepper is coming to my room. Hang out with me for a minute. He gonna meet me downtown. But before he leaves, like, come on, hit this joint old square ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? I don't smoke. So I tell him no nah, and stuff and whatever. And uh, I end up, man, hitting the joint before he leaves. Now, I'm, I'm out there. I got some work on me. I'm checking out this hotel. Bro, I cannot find some of the work, bro. I didn't hit the joint. I can't find some of the work. So I'm scared to check out the hotel because I don't want to make sure I done looked under the bed like 10 times. You know what I'm saying? I can't find it. I say, okay. I had some people come by, so I must have dropped it. So, uh... And somebody picked it up or something. You know what I mean? So I'm about to go meet Mike right downtown. I jump on the highway. So when I get started good on the highway, I look at my rear view mirror. And I see two cars like this in the traffic. Like they racing. They just in and out. They coming up on me fast. So I think it's Newburgh Heights is the name of that police. But anyway, they was right there. They like 30 yards in front of me. When the two cars passed me, shoo, they shake my, they fast me, you know, come fast you so fast, they shake your, shake your car. Come fly by me, shoo. Newburgh Heights police right there, man. They jump out, with the, put the lights on. I'm like, oh, they got, he got them. So by the time he jump out, I'm up on him, right? So I'm I'm in front of him. So I'm waiting on him to come around me, you know, to go chase them. He never do. He pulling me over. Man, I look down at the uh, speedometer, man. I'm doing 35 on the highway. <laughs> Man, I'm so high. I think my racing and everything. I think they. <laughs> Man, I'm 
Man, I'm so high, man. I think I think I thought they was racing, bro. I'm, <laughs> Police come to my door, man. I tell him I was messing with my music. I didn't realize how slow I was going. He let me go, right? Now, mind you, I was on 77 North coming back into the into the city. You know how sometimes they have construction and they got those, like, concrete walls on both sides of the lane. It's like there's only two lanes and they tell you don't pass because there ain't really no margin. You know what I mean? So, man, I, I try to, uh, I'm, when he let me go, I try to I get back on the highway, I get to going, and the car get up to 50, man. I had to, I had to break it back down. Like, I couldn't even get up to 50, man. It seemed like I was, uh, the car was shaking and everything. Like, I was doing 200 miles an hour. <laughs> man, I'm riding the yellow line all the way. Like, it's a it's a mile of car behind me, man. I'm doing, like, 15. On the... <laughs> I just know I'm going to jail. <laughs> Man, I get down to the spot. I call my dude Reggie, man. I say, man, hey. I say, man, how do how you how you get this? Let it go. How you get this off of you, boy? He said, man, quit drinking. Just drink some water. And man, do you know, man? I I sat there, man, like a zombie, right? And I went down there the next year for my birthday, and the bartender was like, man, what was wrong with you on your birthday last? <laughs> man, I was stuck, bro. Yeah, I mean, I I ain't you know I wasn't no smoker. You know what I'm saying? So man, that's that's my that's my weed story. Let me tell you about this cocaine. It was around the same time. I messed with a little broad named Jamie Edwards, man, right? In a rural Ohio. We going to the Bahamas. I take her to the Bahamas. And uh she sneak, you know, she, I give her some some work because she liked to party, you know, with the nose candy and shit. So we uh she sneaked whatever I gave her down there. You know what I mean? So man, we uh we in the room, we just gonna chill, you know, watch the sun, you know, go down, you know, and we're gonna hang out in the room and just enjoy each other, right? So she uh she done rolled up a dollar bill and she got a little workout on the table, she doing her thing. Then she gonna be like, Come on, do one with me. Man, I slapped her. Look, I don't need y'all bashing me, bro. I, I know I ain't supposed to hit no woman. I'm just being honest, man. I slapped. You know what I mean? Because I feel like, man, you know I'm in this game. Don't be trying to, I'm giving you this shit. Don't be trying to get me on this shit. You know what I mean? That's, you know, I slapped her. Bro, I was just talking about when I tell you I done messed the whole trip up. I done messed the whole trip up. You know what I mean? I felt so bad, bro. You know what I mean? I told my, oh my God, bro. I done messed the whole trip up. So I said, okay, come on, baby. I tried to, you know, break the ice. I apologize. Like, come on, baby. I'll party with you. I'm part. She was like, no, no. I said, come on, baby. I'll party with you. You know what I mean? So she gave me a little dollar bill. I hit the shit. The shit done fell all out my nose. <laughs> so she, she said, you got to hold your other nostril down then and you got to. So I hit the shit. You know what I mean? I don't feel nothing. I feel a little burn from it going to my nose, but as far as my overall body, like, I don't feel nothing. It ain't like no weed or nothing like that. I don't feel nothing. So we just up kicking it, dancing and stuff. We, just, you know, we dancing, we slow dancing with each other. We having a good time and stuff like that. I done hit a few lines and shit. You know what I'm saying? We just up kicking it. And I keep telling her, like, man, I don't feel nothing. Like, it, it ain't affecting me like that. You know what I mean? Man, shit, man. I told you we was wait, waiting for the sun to go down. Bro, the sun that came up, I'm saying the same thing. I don't feel that. <laughs> man, I ain't nowhere near sleep. <laughs> I mean, oh, that's what it do. That's what it do. Oh, boy. That... Man, I went to the down to the casino and gamble. Man, I ain't go to sleep the whole for two days. <laughs> man, I never tried that shit again, bro. You know what I mean? I feel like, man, that's I see why you must be heart be busted on that shit. I'll never try. Hey, that was it for that. I ain't really no drug dude no way. I just did it because I didn't put hands on my on my girl. You know what I mean? And uh, I don't need y'all bash me for it either, man. I, I, I admit it. I slapped her. You know what I mean? But look, I was up all night talking about I don't feel that. 
You know what I mean? I'm talking about I'm just full of energy, bro. Like, <laughs> I'm just full of damn energy, man. Hey, if you got your first time, if you try something, man, for the first time, leave a comment. Maybe want to hear about it. Hey, I'm going to take the funniest one. I'm going to take the funniest one, and I'm going to do a whole video on it. You know what I mean? I'm about to start interacting with y'all. I need y'all to interact with me, man. I'm, I'm going to use y'all for content. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to use y'all for content. You know what I mean? I ain't going to just keep coming in and we don't keep going to jail. I ain't going to keep talking about no jail shit out here, man. I can't do it every day like jail, 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 jail. So I'm going to hit y'all with some shit. And me and the wife, man, we got the Kensei page coming out with the family and all of that. You know what I mean? So, you know, man, y'all check it out. And we we in the video. We we in the video. Me and my wife in the video. I'm a, we're going to hit that. We're going to do a reaction to it. We're going to do it today. We're going to do a reaction to it and let y'all see us in the video. You know what I'm saying? So, this is Symbolic Man Generation. Don't forget to hit that like button. Hit that uh, subscribe button. Don't forget the cash app is up there in the corner. You know what I mean? Y'all going to hit that too. This is Symbolic Mind Generation.